Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm gonna give you 10 tips to safely detail your car. Let me know in the comments if you have anything you'd like to add or if you agree or disagree with any of my 10 tips. Okay, tip number one that I always give to people is never use an automatic car wash with brushes. I have a whole separate video on this and I talk about it all the time. The brush car wash is never good for your paint under any circumstances. It's completely not worth it. It will do more harm than good. So never use an automatic car wash. Now, if you have ceramic coating and not paint protection film, you can use a touchless car wash However, they do use harsher chemicals, so your ceramic coating may not last as long as the advertised lifespan. And also, they do have jets that point directly at the car, so that's why you can't use it with PPF. It could damage the film or lift the film in some areas. Um, so it also doesn't quite get the car as clean as hand washing it, but again, it's the, those are the safest methods. Avoid the brush car wash, and if you absolutely have to and you don't have PPF, use the touchless car wash. If you can afford it, but you can't wash your car, maybe due to an injury or age or illness, then you know, perhaps find a local mobile detailer who can at least do a simple wash and clean of the interior of your vehicle. Um, but it's much better than going through the automatic car wash because that will cost you a lot of money in the long run and it will cost you your paint job. Tip number two. Tip number two is always try to wash your car in the shade or if you don't have shade, wash it either earlier in the morning or later in the evening. You don't wanna wash or use many car care products, uh, have warnings against using them in direct sunlight. And if you have hard water, that means you have a lot of minerals in your water and they will leave water spots if it's left to dry. So if you're washing in the sun and it's hot out and you try to wash the whole car at once and it's in the sun and it dries, it's gonna leave behind hard water spots. Then you're gonna add an extra step of having to remove those hard water spots. And some chemicals simply cannot be used in the sun, such as some wheel cleaners, some uh, all-purpose cleaners and a lot more can't be used in direct sun they could potentially damage your paint plastics or trim if you absolutely have to wash your car in the sunlight well do it one panel at a time that way you prevent the car and the chemicals from drying but again try to avoid that at all costs tip number three tip number three is don't scrub bare paint so a lot of times people get you know, a fingerprint or bird dropping or a bug gut, or maybe they see something like bug poop, um, that those little yellow specks, the bug poop on your paint, and they take it and they scrape it with their finger or they push it around with, their, with the pad of their finger. Well, if you do that and the car is dirty and you have no lubrication, you're gonna scratch the paint. So always have some quick detail spray on hand, on hand if you want to remove those things rather than rubbing it with the bare paint. Tip number four. Tip number four is use a safe tip on your pressure washer and keep a decent distance approximately 30 to 36 inches from your vehicle. Now here I use a 40 degree tip and I do try to stay about 30 inches away but the 40 degree tip combined with the pressure washer we use is very safe for paint. Now, some of those narrower tips, whereas zero will et can etch concrete, but 15 and 25 degree tips can also damage the paint. And there's a couple things that they can also do. They can you know, damage some of your trim. If you have paint protection film, it can actually cut the film, which we've had customers who have accidentally cut their film with too narrow of a tip and too um, powerful of a pressure washer. Also, if you have existing chips on the front of your vehicle and they have a little bit of an edge that could catch, if you hit that with a close range and a, and a lower degree tip, it could further break that chip into a larger piece of chip, um, chipping off more paint, especially if that water can kind of get underneath uh, where that chip is. So again, use a safe tip and a safe distance when you're using a pressure washer and try to stay away from any edges on paint protection film that are exposed. We do try to wrap most edges on PPF, but there inevitably is always gonna be, you know, some edges exposed. Okay, we're halfway there, don't click off yet. Tip number five. Tip number five is always have multiple of every product. So why do we have multiple of every product? 
It's not me trying to sell you on more product, although we do have plenty of product links in the description. It's because if you drop something on the ground or it becomes excessively dirty, but especially if you drop something on the ground like a wash mitt or a drying towel or a microfiber rag that you're using, you can't use that again, at least until it's completely washed. So you don't want to drop a towel on the ground, it gets dirt and contaminants and branches and leaves and who knows what else, and then you rub it on the paint, it will totally scratch your paint. So I always have at least two clean products of everything that I'm using, be it wash mitts or drying towels. That way if I accidentally drop it on the ground or it touch the ground, I can throw it in the dirty laundry and just pick up my clean towel. If you don't have that second towel and you're in the middle of a car wash, um, you may have issues because now you're trying to clean that towel out and wring it out and make sure it's doesn't gonna, um, is not gonna scratch your car. We don't want that. So always have at least two of every product. Tip number six that I always try to accomplish is I always try to wash top to bottom and side to side. Now, why do we do that? Let's say for example, our car is completely dirty. And for some reason we decide to start at hip level on the doors. When we go to wash the roof, and we start washing the roof. We've already cleaned our doors, but the contamination from the roof that's also dirty is now gonna wash down and contaminate the area we've already cleaned. So then we're gonna either need to clean it again, or you're gonna leave dirt on the surface which could potentially scratch during the drying process or the rinsing process, whatever the case. So always wash top to bottom, side to side, and try to be methodical. And if you do it in the same order every time, um, you build a habit and it does increase your efficiency. Tip number seven. Tip number seven is never use the same products you use to clean excessively dirty parts of the car, especially wheels and tires on the rest of the painted surface. Wheels and tires are the biggest offenders. They have brake dust and grease and road grime. They make direct contact with the ground. It's probably the dirtiest part of the car and also the most damaging dirt or contaminants that you find are on your wheels because it comes from the brake dust. Brake dust has a lot of metal and iron in it. So you definitely don't wanna wash something that you, uh, sorry, wash your wheels and then take that same mitt and wash your paint because even if you rinse it off, there's a higher probability that you have pieces and shards of metal, iron, and brake dust in that wash mitt. Another thing that I like to do in the same vein is when I'm washing the car, there's certain other areas of the car that get pretty excessively dirty and I always wash those last. So an example of that would be the little painted lip in the wheel arch. It also gets a lot of sling from the road and then the underside of the side skirts and the back of the car under the rear bumper or diffuser if you have a diffuser, they all tend to get excessively dirty, nasty road grime. So I wash the whole car and then uh, I go and I wash those excessively dirty areas. Speaking of wheels and tires, we're gonna go on to tip number eight. Wheels and tires are the first parts of the car that I do clean. And the reason I clean the wheels and tires first is because if you're washing them and then you go to rinse them off and you've already cleaned the rest of the car, there's a higher probability that you're gonna spray the nasty, dirty road grime all over the rest of the car. So clean those first and then clean the rest of the car and then when you're rinsing, you're not as likely to spray nastiness all over the rest of the painted surfaces and increase chances of scratching your paint. All right, tip number nine. Tip number nine is about towel quality, plushness, and size. So a higher GSM towel, which a lot of people know GSM grams per square meter, and I have a whole separate video that tells you what grams per square meter is, but generally speaking, people think that a higher GSM necessarily means it's a plusher towel. That's not necessarily the case. It means it's a heavier towel per square inch, per square meter, per square whatever. So it's a heavier towel. So you can have a 1400 GSM drying towel that is not as plush as a 350 or 470 Korean plush um, microfiber towel, even though it's almost three times the GSM, just means it's more heavy, it's gonna absorb more, but those towels that I mentioned, the Korean plush, they're gonna be softer. So a higher quality towel and a softer towel 
and using the right towel for the intended purpose, such as a drying towel for drying, you know, and not just having one rag that you use for every part of the car is going to decrease your likelihood of scratching the paint. And it's also going to increase your efficiency to use the towels that are meant for the purpose that you're trying to accomplish, which is, you know, cleaning windows, a window cleaning towel, uh, you know, wheels and tires, spe specific towels, drying towels, wash mitts. I use all different types of products throughout the process. It also makes them last longer because you're not using them everywhere. So all of that will increase your efficiency and decrease the amount of chances that you will have to scratch your vehicle. Okay, the last tip that we're gonna talk about is bleeding dye. So the, the red and black towels and you know darker colored towels, they have a higher molecular weight in the towel dye, and I have a whole separate video on this. And those are more likely to bleed than lighter white or gray or other similar towels like that light blue. They're less likely to bleed than the darker colored towels. So when you're cleaning your interior, especially if you have a lighter colored cream or like a brown or a tan interior, if you're using one of those darker towels with a cleaning product for the interior, you have a higher probability of having like red dye transfer onto your cream colored interior than you would if you were to use a lighter colored towel. So not only are quality towels important, but using the right color towel uh, is also important when you're cleaning certain parts of your car. Most people use black towels to clean wheels because they're gonna stain. So even if they're clean, they're gonna stain. So if you use a white towel on a black wheel, it's gonna get, or a white towel on a nasty wheel, it's gonna get stained and dirty um, regardless of how many times you clean it. So a lot of people use darker colored towels for wheels and wheel wells and brake calipers and then lighter colored towels for the interior. So use a lighter colored towel for your interior cleaning. Okay, I gave you 10 tips uh, to 10 total tips to get you a safe and efficient car detailing experience. Let me know in the comments what you thought of my 10 tips. If you agree or disagree, maybe you have something you want to add. Maybe you have a video you want me to do that answers some of your car detailing questions. Well, let me know in the comments and thanks for watching.